Hi love, Lina here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you the reasons why your hair, your hair sheds excessively. If you want to know the reason why your hair might be shedding excessively, then please keep on watching this tutorial. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button right below. It's either somewhere here or here. Please click on the subscribe button before you start enjoying from my knowledge. Before you start benefiting from my knowledge, please join the community you can also become a channel member and you know help us grow on youtube let's get to twenty thousand subscribers before the year ends <laughs> i legit lost interest on youtube but i'm suddenly getting that i'm suddenly getting back into it so let's get into the reason why your hair is shedding the number one reason why your hair is shedding is the weft because how wigs are made how weft how hair extensions is made is it's simply going to be wefted to make a wig hair extensions hair, hair extensions that come in the form of a weft is being used to make a wig so let's say the weft is not made in a way that is that the strands are secured properly glued down and sewed very effectively Efficiently, you're going to notice that some strands of hair are going to be pulling out from the weft. It's not because the quality of the hair is bad, it's because the wefting that was done on that hair was not efficient. So it's not that the hair the hair itself is bad, it's just that the weft that that holds all the hair together wasn't well done so what you can do in a case like that is you can take out you can loosen all of the weft from that wig and then take it to somebody who knows how to weft hair what the person just needs to do is use a sewing machine and run that sewing machine over and over all over the entire weft because by sewing the wefts over and over again you're going to be ha you're going to have more of those strands glued down more securely or one thing you can also use is you can even use like a gum there's this particular gum that they use in holding the strands together before sewing it down securely so the person doing that service for you can just put in that glue it's something like a black glue that you can just put in into the weft into that the, the wefting the weft area and then sew it down securely and then let it dry that is going to help minimize the level at which you at which your wefts is shedding and by the time you make the weft into like a sewing or into a wig you're going to notice that the, the shedding is a lot more minimal another reason why your hair is shedding is it's completely natural for your hair to shed because even when you're combing your natural hair your natural hair sheds and the reason why your natural hair is shedding is because at maybe certain points of your hair may have been tangled together and in the process of combing through your hair you didn't take your time to detangle that part of the hair that was wrapped together so by using the force of the comb to comb through the hair you notice that the hair that part that is tangled then breaks and then it ends up shedding so Having parts of your hair that is matted is what causes the hair to shed. So this is another reason why your hair is shedding. So what you can do to mitigate your hair breaking off and leading it to shed is try as much as possible to comb your hair from the tips of the hair and then walk your way all the way to the top. If you are able to comb your hair from the tips of your of the hair and walk your way all to the top, instead of combing it all the way from the up part down, vram, at one go, your hair is most likely going to shed when you comb it from the up part all the way down at one go. But when you're able to comb the hair gradually from the down part and take it all the way to the up part, you're going to notice a lot less shedding, unlike when you do it the other way around. So how you comb your hair matters a whole lot. Try as much as possible to detangle your hair completely before you start going through it from the up parts. Start gradually from the bottom part and work your way to the up part. Another reason why your hair is shedding is that you're not maintaining your hair properly. 
I've, I've had i have clients that honestly don't have the time to maintain their wigs because they're living in countries that are that they do jobs that are very demanding of them and they barely have time to take care of those wigs so most times when you when the client now sends the wig for me to revamp it i notice that yeah it's shedding a lot a lot because of the client hasn't been maintaining the wigs well because if you're wearing your wig and you're not taking your time to brush it you're not taking your time to do the usual routine maintenance and you just get the wig you wear it and then after wearing it you drop it when you want to wear it and you put it on and you do the same thing over and over again for let's say like two years three years by the time you now have to wash that wig you would notice that the hair is going to be a lot more difficult to detangle and by the time you're washing your hair and detangling detangling the hair you're going to be you're going to notice that the hair is going to shed so because of you're not maintaining your hair well that's another reason why your hair is shedding so the fourth reason why i would say your hair is shedding is that the hair has been over processed so let's say your the hair in question is something like a blonde or a horny blonde the hair has obviously been colored so if it's type of hair that doesn't like being that is not able to be lifted to the lightest color and you're trying to force it to lift you're going to notice that the strands now become very very light and porous thereby by the time you're coming through the hair the hair is just going to be breaking apart breaking apart so that will make your hair more prone to shedding that's and what i mean is the process of over processing your hair to color it is what makes the strand become porous is what makes the strand become too soft and by the time your strands now become too soft it's prone to breaking it's just like when you retouch your natural hair for those of us that have african hair patterns african hair like the fussy hair and we typically will retouch our hair because we are it's painful to maintain your natural hair by the time your hair is retouched you notice that if you don't moisturize your hair frequently if you don't keep your hair in protective hairstyles it's going to be more prone to breakage because putting relaxers in your hair a relaxer is a chemical it makes your hair becomes processed when your hair is relaxed your hair is processed when your hair is processed it's more prone to breakage the process of coloring your human hair extension to a different color is just similar to the process of retouching your hair just that retouching just makes your hair softer but coloring your hair makes your hair change to a different color so that's the reason why i said it becomes your strands of your hair become weaker especially when you over process it and it's more prone to breaking so try as much as possible to buy raw hair extensions the most people complain about raw hair extensions because raw extension is not usually as soft as like the chinese processed hair is people tend to like the very soft chinese hair because it's processed but they are able to process the chinese hairs in a way that it's not overdone so the hair is not prone to breaking apart so these are the reasons why your hair is prone to shedding there are ways to go about it, about it like i mentioned in this video your regular maintenance probably re-refting the hair or just taking your time to brush your hair from the tip all the way to the top i hope this video was helpful for you and if you got value out of it please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll most definitely definitely catch you in my next video i love you be bold have courage a positive life bye love <laughs> Thank you.